What's going on, everyone? Circuit Hydro here. Playing some Team Deathmatch and Team Club Crossfire. Ow. <laughs> hey, I remember this now. Um, I played this game, like, on Circuit's computer before I even owned the computer. Yeah, That's this how. is a game that I used to introduce into first person. Well, no, not even first person shooters, but just games in general. Like, yeah. This was the game. Oh. Yeah. This is fun. It's getting killed. Well, it's sad. Uh, should be able to change my cross here real quick. I can change it closer. So. Oh, I got one. Hey, Mom. Oh, my God, one. Is... Type B. No, type C, yeah. There we go. And then... Oh, there we go. There we go, now I can tell exactly where I'm aiming. Oh. This is still 100. So, Missing uh, it. Could you tell um, everyone a little bit about Crossfire? Hmm? Tell oh, a little well, bit. um, okay, so basically, it was, it was intended to be like a sort of free-to-play Counter-Strike 1.6 clone. Well, it's not even really intended, it was more, it was more like the design choices that they, that they had. But the thing, you know, it's a, it's a whole kind of thing where it's like, you know, you don't, if it's not broke, don't fix it, that kind of thing. Yeah. Kind of like kind of like how a lot of um a lot of other for like free to play first person shooters tried copying Call of Duty to a point, and then they eventually they wised up to it because mm -hmm. Call of Duty only works for Call of Duty. That's true. You can't beat Call of Duty. Anymore. Exactly. So, yeah. And this game actually has quite some history to it. Like um, for for a good while, and this was like a good a good year or so after I started playing, they they had this whole storyline going with uh, the two factions in the game, Global Risk and Blacklist. And what they did was they had like these special missions they could go on uh, to. It was I mean it was really simple stuff like just like kill quotas and oh yeah you need to get a kill with a grenade or something like that. And then, depending on which on which faction got more points towards their towards their goals, you would get a different you'd get a different part to the story. So it was. I mean, it was it was good. It was good too. The writing was all right and all and all of that. But people just slowly stopped doing the missions for it, so they so they killed it off. But Did I mean, it did not last. And then... Did you follow, like, the, the story mode uh, very closely? I, I did my best. Yeah. Like, I got I got very much into it. Like, I... Like, the second I heard that the story mode was going in, I immediately signed up immediately for a uh, little risk. And it's funny, though, because... Because, um... Global Risk sounds like a villain name. Like it sounds like it sounds like a villain really corporation does. name. But they're the, but they were supposed to be the good guys. That's pretty funny, actually. So yeah, I mean, I dropped off the game after a while. I think it, I think it was because either I got bored or eventually I just started. I just got caught up in the whole oh it's, it's pay to win thing. And, I mean, uh, it, it, was it was it really pay to win at that time? Well, it was, and it's still kind, and it still, still kind of is, is, just because the characters, like um, like some of the characters, do have smaller view models, or they, they have smaller models but not smaller hitboxes, so it can seem pay to win in that sometimes you don't see the character, even though you can still kind of hit them. Uh, okay. Just tearing things up right now. Hang on. <laughs> Every now and then, like I'm shooting, like I like I know what I'm doing, but then, but then I die, and I'm like, nope. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, you can. St I mean, you can look around now. You, you like, like, um, like some of the, like some of these weapons. Even though they look like just, just reskins of other weapons, they do have like certain attributes that change. Like some of them will be more accurate without decreasing any other stats, and others will have like more rounds, more rounds for magazine and all that. And they'll, and they'll mainly, they'll mainly be for, um, for uh, Z8 points. Which you have to pay for, which hence the whole pay for win. Pay to, uh, win. Pay to win. Yeah. So in a sense, the game is pay to win, but at the same time, it's not so pay to win that it's like you, that's just like unbearable. Yeah. Oh, we won. Yep. Nice. Didn't. Oh, that was close too. Two kills away. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Uh, should we stay in the lobby and do one more? Uh. One more for the audience back at home. Yeah. Or wherever they are watching this from. Might not be their home. Could be a friend's house. Could yeah. be someone else's home. Could they could have broke? You could be uh, someone who just broke into someone else's home and just using a Wi-Fi to watch the video right now. Oh my goodness! I don't judge you. <laughs> Where, wherever you come from, I was. I mean, you. hey, they're watching us, so they must be good to a point, right? No, oh, they're they're totally good people. They're watching. Yeah. Um, I got a desk today. That's pretty cool. I used to have a really crappy setup for my computer and everything. Today I actually got like a legitimate desk. So I feel like that just means I'm official. It's like official hydroxidant. So change everything to like official hydroxidant. Alright, let's check out storage. I haven't been here in a while. I'm gonna turn music off for now. Prepare that. But, um... There should be... No, there's no auto-repair. Oh, you can also save replays of the matches. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I... My history in Crossfire is probably... I think this might have been the first PC game I ever played. I think it might have, actually. Yeah. I, I really can't think of what else it would be. I didn't realize the game had started. I was just sitting in uh, the lobby for a while. I don't think there's any, or it didn't appear that we're like, sorry. Yeah. I mean, like, no, I think it's, I think it's open join as long as you're in the, as long as you're in the room. Ah, good old. I, I freaking love the uh, the item shop music. I had this as my ringtone for a while. Oh really? Yeah. I remember like one time, uh, the phone, my phone. It was back. It was back when I had like the when I had like a little brick thing. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. One time my uh, one time my phone went off in class. I'm like, if I just stay quiet, nobody will know it's mine. But nobody else would have would right. have a ringtone that sounds like that. So that like I'll, everyone knows. That was back when I was. That was back when I was like really into military stuff. So everybody was like, like that sounds like some. That, that sounds like a covert type song or what or whatever. So there's yeah. no other person that. that it's like, it's like Jacob. Do. Turn your phone off. It's like, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I think I remember like, that actually. Was that all um, like in seventh grade or eighth grade? Uh yeah, it was in it was in seventh grade. Was it like Mr. Ramsey's class or something? Yeah, language arts. No, okay, then maybe I was there. I thought it was in like Ramsey's class. Uh, it might have happened. It might have happened a, a number what happened of times. times. I'm not really sure. But I think I think what I'm remembering might might have been might have just been the first time it happened. Oh, I just got needed to death. I feel like, um, whatever the series is gonna be, like, it's gonna be, like, nostalgia. <laughs> cause it's just yeah. kind of a nostalgia thing. More than anything, cause, like, the, I feel like the reason, like, I, I wanted to come back and play Crossfire was because it was the first PC game I played. Yeah, I mean, this was, um, this was the first person shooter that I picked up. Just be, like, just because I wanted to play a first person shooter so badly. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't want to bother like, like kind of save up money or anything like that. I just like, I was like, just give me something to play. 
And I think I made a good choice, because... We're playing it, it right now. <laughs> it sort of has that badass element that Call of Duty gives you, you know, like, like it's so easy, it's so easy to, to kill people, but it's also so easy to get killed. Yeah. So, like, narrowly avoiding death just feels amazing. It really does. Then, like, it, like, for me, because, right, obviously, I play a ton of CS right now, and, um, like, there are just skills that translate. Oh, yeah. Which kind of I mean, goes into what you used to say about like, um, like skills that transfer, uh, transfer Oh yeah, I mean, I mean like, for, for any, like as long as you, like as long as it's within the genre, and sometimes even outside of the genre, there's always gonna be some, there's always gonna be some skills that tra that transfer from one game to another when you switch, when you switch games. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, I can't decide which way to look. That's one thing, but I just need to move the map a little bit. Oh my god, one guy is 47 old. I wonder if he's either A, having the game of his life, or B, is just playing for him. Maybe a little bit of both. Because I oh, mean, wow, I with the know. weapons that with the weapons that you get in this game, it's kind of you know, it's it's that ooh double kill. Just because oh, that was fifteen and fifteen. You know, not terrible. Um, but I think I'm gonna end episode Uno here. Yeah. So that was a cool little thing to do. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like cool little chill out reminiscing uh, we did. So uh, thanks for watching.